Hello everyone, I am Dr. R. V. Narayana, Consultant Neurophysician at Seven Hills Hospital, Vishakapatna. So, we are observing Purple Day every year, March 26th. So, this Purple Day is observed to create awareness among the public about the epilepsy. Epilepsy is also known as Fitz, Mirgi, you know, Vatarota. Then in Telugu they call Murchavayadi. So for this, you know, we create awareness among the public. We tell them what is epilepsy and uh, what are the causes of epilepsy, how this epilepsy can be diagnosed, how this epilepsy can be treated, and what are the precautions to be taken once it is diagnosed and how it is treatment has to be followed. We'll guide the patients and their families on this day. So the purple day is mainly because of, I mean, this is observed just to, you know, educate the public about the epilepsy. So what are the things we do on this day? So we tell the patients and the families what to do, what not to do when you see a patient with fits. So when you see a patient with fits, so what you have to do is silently observe the fit how the patient is behaving at that time. So if he falls to the ground, you just help him help him to lie on, on his side. So if he is, you know, having some movements, don't try to control those movements. The movements will stop on its own in one or two minutes. Just make him comfortable. Just make him lie down on his side. If his head is, uh, you support the head with small, cloth or a pillow like thing and see the patient should be turned to one side so that if there is a saliva, the saliva can come out. So he should not get injured. For example, if he is wearing a tie and all, you have to release the tie so that you know, the patient will breathe normally. So these fits will subside on its own in one to two minutes. So the patient, most of these times patients, they do recover and then don't give him any water, milk or any of these liquids because sometimes the, when they are in the fit or post-ictal state, we call it as after the fit, they cannot swallow, that may go into the lungs. So these are the things you have to do. What you should not do is you should not give him, I mean onion, chapels, those things are you know in the public they do it. We should not do that one. We should not feed the patient while he is you know, convulsing while he is making the jerks and all. And we should not try to put something in the mouth, like some people try to keep the keys, some metal objects. So they try to keep it. So these should, things should not be done. So you have to see, observe the patient. If the patient regains consciousness in few minutes, then it's okay. Otherwise, if he continuously is seizing, you may have to take him to the hospital. So once you go to the hospital, what the doctors will see? So they see in the emergency. So the, in the emergency, they see ABC, that is airway, breathing, circulation, the things they will observe. And what are the necessary investigation for that patient? So they will learn from the family, wow, since how long this fellow is, a, the person is having seizures or fits. So they take the history. So from the family members or the bystanders, we call them as eyewitness. From them also we take the histories. So once we take the history, we try to oh, formulate a diagnosis after examining the patient. So we look for some clinical signs in the patient, if they are any. So we will observe them, we note them. Then some patients, so we see if it is required, we do a CT scan or a MRI brain on, on these epilepsy patients. So after assessing the patient, we'll formulate a plan for treatment. So most of these patients, they require two to five years of treatment. So if they take regularly, if there are no seizures, then we'll try to taper them. So all patients may not, you know, recover completely, but 70 to 80 percent of the patients, they do recover with the medication alone. Some patients like 20 to 25 percent of these patients, they require surgical evaluation. So these patients are called 
resistant epilepsy for these patients surgical evaluation done and we will send them to a surgery uh, epilepsy surgery centers wherever it is available so these are the things we advise them so if you see a fit patient patient with fits or seizures or epilepsy or mirgi if you see him just observe him and try to protect him so when we when you see them and uh, try to help them to reach the hospital if it is required thank you